Hi everyone, I'm Nando Kitty Chan, and today I'm going to be sharing with you my anime figure pickups from over the past several summer months. Starting out as we always do with the Nendroids, I picked up the casual Yurio Nendroid, of course, because in this version he comes in his ever so famous tiger sweater and hoodie. And although he doesn't come with a ton of accessories, this is my favorite version of him, so I'm so happy he's finally released. Likewise from Yuri on Ice, I also got my best boy Victor in his coaching outfit that is most iconic for the one pose he can do with a surprise face and hands up to his blushing cheeks. He is so adorable, although I still am holding out for a young Victor version. As well, I had to pick up Yuri's casual Nendroid 2 as he comes in a cute little winter coat that will be very handy for Nendo swapping but also because he comes with alcohol and a drunken face to mimic and reference his actions at the banquet. I do currently have a review for his Nendroid up on my channel as well, so if you'd like to check it out, I will leave the link up above. From these past months, I also picked up my first token Rambu figure, and it is the Juzumaru Nendroid. I just think his character's design is absolutely gorgeous and I've never seen such amazing hair on a nendroid before. It is so well sculpted and flowy and I knew when I saw it I had to pick up this little guy. From Full Metal Alchemist I picked up the Roy Mustang nendroid and although I won't be ordering all of the FMA nendroids, I did have to pick up Roy to go with Ed and Al and he does come with some pretty fun accessories and faceplates. So I'm definitely not disappointed in how he came out. I also had pre-ordered the Abina-chan Nendroid from Umaru and she is so stinking adorable. She comes with so many cute little blushing face plates as well as a sitting pose and the big cat body pillow that Umaru's brother gives her. And I'm so glad they decided to make another character from this series, especially since it's her best friend Abina. Next, I had to pick up Alba's best friend Hufumi as well from New Game, who also comes with a lot of blushy faces and is much like Abina with her personality. But I'm so happy to have more characters from this anime too because it is absolutely adorable. As you may have seen earlier on my channel, I did pick up the Susie Nendroid from Little Witch Academia and she is definitely my favorite from the show because of her dark personality and experimental antics that directly reflect onto this Nendroid perfectly, right down to her faceplates, so I'm so glad to say that I've added her to my collection. Next up, I had pre-ordered the Beatrice Nendroid from ReZero, and I had always thought that her character would make a perfect Nendroid with her hair and the detailings of her dress, and she did not disappoint. She looks so cute as a Nendroid, and you can definitely look forward to a review for her in the future. I also picked up the Setsu Nendroid from A3, and honestly, I've only played A3, the mobile game, a few times. I really just picked up this Nendroid for his casual male outfit and other accessories. Though he has a very cute design in general, and I do lack male Nendroids, so I decided to pick him up. Again, with this Nendroid, I haven't been able to watch Encouragement of Climb yet, but I do hear it's very good, and I really like the outfit that Hinata comes in, as well as her cheeky and cute faceplates, so I decided to get her as well. Moving on to figures, I pre-ordered the 1-6 scale Kana from Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid, and it is done by Pulchura which is a company that I've never had a figure from before, but seems to be the only company with any kind of kind of figure, so I had to pick her up in all her little dragon cuteness. Another little thing I picked up over the summer was this petite sample series remit set, and I don't want to butcher the name of it, so I will put it on the screen if you'd like to look it up, but it basically comes with a nice variety of miniatures for a cozy little bedroom, including things like a bed, table, TV, and nightstand, as well as some other small goodies like a curling iron, laptop, and even a miniature contact lens case. 
Lastly, I had actually forgotten I pre-ordered this a while ago, but it is the Honey Babe Victor plush by Orange Rouge of Good Smile Company, and he's actually super cute. The best part is he actually comes with an exchange of clothes to his hot springs robe you see in the first episodes of Yuri on Ice, as well as a little Makachin Tichy box. I also picked up a Medichu figure from Fat Company for the character aircraft carrier Woe Class from Kentai Collection. And that is a handful to say, but she looks so badass and this figure is so huge. I've wanted her for a long time because of her size and chibi nature, but I was finally able to find her pre-owned on Ami Ami, so I decided to pick her up. Very random, but I've also been eyeing up this teacup and saucer set for a while. It is so cutely Totoro themed with little soot sprites and even part of the inside of the cup is designed as well. I've been recently using mugs and cups as bowls lately, but I don't know if I'll be able to use this one because it is so freaking pretty. So those were all of my anime figure pickups from the past months of summer. Please let me know what you got as well down below in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I try to put out new videos every week and if you'd like to follow me on a more regular basis, I do have Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter under the same name here. Otherwise, don't forget to smile and I'll see you next time.